did this take you to make? Uh, two years. So this, is, this is the end of the stop. How did you come up with these three? I mean, they're all greats of their own right, but why these three? Organic, you know, I mean, you know, I think there are a lot of guitarists that are virtuosos, that are, you know, can play perfect notes, but um, you don't feel the music, and a lot of guitarists are brilliant musicians, but they can't talk about it. They're not searchers, they're not on a journey as an artist. And these three, they're so different, but they share that one thing in common, that they're searching as artists. So. The more I know and the more power I have to do whatever I want, the more I get out of the way. And I let the story, the, pe the people in the story tell the story for me. And I help guide it along. You know, so I, if something great is happening, like Jimmy writing an original song for the movie, or Jack writing a song on camera, I just get out of the way, you know, and I just make sure I help capture it, and, you know, and find a, a place for it in the movie. So, you know, I think what you see in this movie is that, is that um, and each one of these guys was not born, not raised in a place of artistic privilege. You know, Jimmy was just in a home and there happened to be a guitar sitting on the corner. It was an ornament. Jack was in, lived in Mexican town where no one played an instrument. And Edge was in Dublin when, you know, no one listened to the stuff they were doing. So these guys had a need to create, despite all these ob obstacles. Yeah, and I think that's what's going to keep happening. Like great music and great musicians are going to need to create. Thank you. you know, even as things are changing, and they'll keep punching through. You know, and the, and the guitar is just so quintessential youth and rebellion and potent, you know, aggression. So it's you know it's you know that's that's what it's going to keep reinventing itself. We did not want to make the encyclopedia of the electric guitar. We did not want to make the accurate film. And you know, I think if you try to make the accurate film, you got to cover every album, you got to cover every contribution, you got to list everybody, and you got to speak to everybody, rock historians and critics. We didn't want to make that movie. Jimmy Page tells Jimmy Page's story, and if he talked about Les Paul, maybe he would go to Les Paul. But you know, it's a very visceral, emotional, intimate movie, and, and very specific, very narrow in its scope, but also hopefully very intense and potent. So, well, the young Jack White, that is Jack White, and that was his idea, and, and we got to see him at nine, so why not shoot it? And then the, cart the animated stuff is, you know, there's just certain things we didn't have photographs of. You know, Jack told the story of sleeping in a, a bedroom that was seven by seven, and there was no, there were, he had two drum sets, there was nowhere to sleep, and he pushed out the bed, and he slept on a piece of foam, and I was like, that's a great story, but there's no photographs, so why not animate it? That's great. I have complicated feelings about Michael Moore. I think he's broken ground for people like me. He changed the way documentaries are seen. They're entertaining, they're funny, you know. And that, it means that I can do what I'm doing. I, I don't, um, I think he's a lot more aggressive with the truth than I would like to be. But, you know, and, and but by the way, it's taste. It's like some musicians like other musicians. And, you know, I'd shake, if I saw him right now, I'd shake his hand, but but I don't, I don't, I wouldn't make the films he makes. Oh yeah, there's a lot of outtakes, a lot of music, a lot of, a lot, a lot of Led Zeppelin, a lot of U2, a lot of white shirts, so. Thank you, Davis, congratulations.